Well, good morning. Welcome to Palm Sunday. Just a reminder, we do have services here uh, at the church, 1575 River Road in Jenkins Township, PA, over by Pittston, right, right across from the bridge. It's right there on River Road. Uh, anyways, 1030 and 5 o'clock today, uh, and we'll be celebrating Palm Sunday together. So please come and join us. Again, if you can't make it, you always know you can catch us, catch us on uh, YouTube or on Facebook. Now, as we wrap up chapter 13 today, all right, uh, I just again want to remind you that this is our last daily word of encouragement study. So let's go ahead and get our Bibles, our pens, and journals. Get ready, all right, as we watch Paul as he wraps up his letter to the Corinthian church in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, starting in verse 11. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All God's people here send their greetings. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with you all. All right? So Paul is always an encourager. And so he goes through this letter, and as you can see, there's peaks and valleys of each one of his epistles. And he talks about... The good things, he talks about things that got to be dealt with. He talks about the good things. And he always finishes out with encouragement, all right? And even though he had to come down hard on some of the issues, he wants them to know that he cares about them, and he loves them, and this is the reason why, and that they are the body of Christ. So we see in these last few verses, he says a few things. Number one, rejoice. Remember, you were lost, but now you're saved. There is no reason to complain. There's no reason to whine. There's no reason to mope, rejoiced, because you will be eternally with our Lord. The second thing he says is strive for full restoration. So what does he mean by that? All right, he means this. Now, now yes, full restoration, we, we are completely restored once we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We have restored that relationship with God. But what he's saying is as you practice your righteousness, all right, you'll grow closer and closer to Christ and become more like him here on earth before you go home. The third thing he says is to encourage one another. You know, this is something that the church seems to lack in nowadays. I don't know why. We live in a society, it's a, it has not become a trait that it once was. We, we live in a society that we kind of do our own thing and we're our own people. And, and we just don't have time to encourage one another. And I say that to say this, that's not plat. I mean, the people here encourage each other all the time. They encourage me, I encourage them, we encourage each other. But he's saying we need to encourage each other, all right? This is probably one of the most important things the body of Christ can do. Uh, you know, it's a cruel world. It's a cruel world, and constantly there's, there's struggles. And I've had people tell me that this church is their family. Oh, they have families. Some of them have huge families. But because they're not saved, and they, they just don't get it, and they always say that Platt Community Church is their family. They can always count on them when the rest of their family says, I don't have time for you. So we need to encourage the brethren. The fourth thing he says is be of one mind. Be of one mind. Again, this is something that, that churches struggle with, all right? Uh, so what does this mean? He doesn't, he's not saying let's walk around like zombies and just follow uh, the leader without thinking. He's not saying that at all, all right? But what he's saying is being one mind that we all should be focused on Christ, all right? We should be looking for, for uh, what he wants us to do, a narrow focus on God. We are, we are congregationally led, all right? What does that mean? Well, yeah, I'm the pastor, and, and so they usually are asking me for advice and stuff like that. But we're congregationally led. That means we vote on things here at this church. Every member has a, has a vote. And so when we talk about something, we, we lift it up to the, the uh, uh, congregation. And yes, majority rules, but really what it comes down to is it, it should be unanimous or near unanimous, and it always is. And why is that? Because we're not following me, we're following what Jesus is telling us. So everybody prays on it and finds out when is, what is the best thing, and, and just trusting God 
in those things, all right? Uh, that we, we follow his agenda, not our agenda. The fifth thing he says is live in peace. Don't argue among yourselves. Don't do that. Christ is peace. Let the world see that it is in us also, is what he's saying. And the sixth thing he says there, give each other a, a, a holy kiss, all right? Well, we live in a different society nowadays. Number one, guys don't usually kiss other guys. Though so I got to tell you, we have one fellow, Nick, who I just absolutely love. He and his wife, when they come, and he always gives me a kiss on the neck when he sees me. And, uh, and I, in turn, give him a kiss back on the neck. All right, it's a sign of affection. And that's what he's really saying is show affection to the brethren. All righty. Uh, we are a hugging church, though with COVID, we've kind of been careful not to do that either. But we should show love to each other. So, and then he finishes up with this. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. All righty. What a great way to end a letter. Amen. All righty. Okay, now don't forget, all right, we, we're, gonna, we're going to be here at 1030 today and 5 o'clock. And you can watch us online uh, if you can't make it, all righty? Uh, but if you want to get a palm, obviously you have to be here in person. All right. Now, we're not quite finished with our study. We have one more day. We're going to do a whole wrap-up on stuff because I want to share something with you that God has really revealed to me, how much the Church of Corinth is like the Church of the United States right now. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay, Father God, we thank you, we thank you, and we praise you. Thank you so much for this study. Lord, it's hard to believe that it's been over three months since we started this. All oh, the things that you've shown and taught all of us, we just lift you up and thank you, Holy Spirit. We ask you to bless this day and bless this time as we move into a time of great holiness, a time to look back and remember what you've done for us. In Christ Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. God bless you all. See you later today. Bye now.